guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm just going to get right into it and show you what I picked up, and then at the end I have pictures of items I saw in the store but didn't want or need, but I thought you might like to see them. First up, I picked up these binder pouches. I got purple and pink. They came in other colors. Blue, and I don't remember the other color. <laughs> but I just grabbed these to put in binders so you can keep stickers or... Um, pens or you know just the stuff you need with that binder sorry if you can hear my washing machine spinning in the background it's upstairs but it's very loud and then I found this movie for my son Bride of Scarecrow he likes horror movies and especially the really bad ones um, or badly made ones you know what I mean bad acting the whole works I don't know if I got this for him before but I don't think so um, yeah, it's just called Bride of Scarecrow. So here you can read what it's about. You can pause it. Yeah, so I just picked that up for him. He never gives me reviews of these videos, so I know people have asked in the past, but I don't... But he doesn't tell me. And to be honest, I forget to ask, so... Next up, I saw these wire racks. And I thought, or hanging racks, whatever they're called, and I thought they would be good for in the garage. So I picked up three of them. That one's trying to get away. I got three of them. Um, they could probably go in one of the bedrooms upstairs. It's an office, but I haven't decided yet. I think I would like them better in the garage. Or you know what I mean. Next up, I got three cans of the Campbell's Pork and Beans. These are 19.75 ounces. Uh, these are, I can't remember, can't remember if it's eight or nine cents cheaper than Walmart, but eight or nine cents is eight or nine cents times three. So I got those. I got one bag of these little Dutch made holiday cookies. I used to love these when I was a kid. I don't know if they're, you know, if I still will love them, but I thought I'd give them a try. These were like a treat when I was little. Then I got a few more of these Utz onion and garlic potato chips. I like the small bags, so that's why I pick them up in the small bags. Next, I got four of these chicken flavored nor rice sides my family loves these and while they do go on sale at the grocery store for a dollar i've noticed lately that they're sold out pretty frequently this flavor is so i went ahead and picked up four of those so the next items i got i don't know if they're actually worth a dollar each but i bought them to show you guys and i know they'll get eaten here um, I just thought they were cute for one thing. And I'm trying to think of what I can use these little jars for after they eat the jelly. So this is Mrs. Miller's homemade strawberry jam. And let's see. It says it's made in Ohio and no, what does it say? And no corn syrup. It's sugar, strawberries, pectin, and citrus, citric acid. So I got that one. I got the seedless blackberry. Aren't these just adorable? I got the seedless red raspberry. These are 1.5 ounces. If you're putting together a little food basket, these would be nice. And some peach jam as well. They also had the Hickory Farms Smooth and Sharp Cheddar Blend. Got one of those. If you can hear my washing machine spinning in the background, I am sorry. It's so loud. They had also by Hickory Farms, the sweet hot mustard, and you get one and a quarter ounces of that. My husband and son will like that. How much was this? Two ounces of cheese. And then the cutest thing of all, I think you could seriously think you could make this into an ornament is this little thing of Nutella. Look how cute. You could use up all the Nutella and then clean it out, paint the inside brown, 
put a hook on it, that would be adorable. Or tie a ribbon around it, that would be freaking adorable. Um, so let's see. This is just over one ounce of Nutella. Isn't that cute? I wish I'd thought of that ornament thing before. I'd have picked up more of them, but it's all right. I don't need them. I don't need ornaments because I said, I don't know if I'm even putting up my tree. It's already the sixth and there's been no movement on, on putting up a tree at this point. I got the stocking. They had lots of letters, but I picked up J for my daughter. I don't know if I'm going to be sending a Christmas box, but if I do, this is going in it. And if I'm going to, I need to get on that. So I need to have a think about that. It's so expensive to send things. And since I'm going in March, you know, it's not that far away. Got two more pairs of these gloves. Um, they're the touch screen. I don't know why gloves go missing in our house. They just do. So I went ahead and grabbed two more. We haven't lost them all yet that I've already bought, but I'm just thinking ahead here because when we do, they won't have them anymore. <laughs> so next up, they're calling this a squishy toy, but honestly, it's it's creepy and it feels really weird. It's this guy, look, look at his cute face. It's hard to hold him still. It feels so weird. And I was thinking that if I do send my daughter something, I'll put it in the stocking. I'll put that down in the toe of it. You can't see what I'm doing. And you know, freak her out. And purple's her favorite color, so. Stay there, weirdo. I also picked this up for my daughter, but I'm just gonna put it upstairs in her closet of stuff for when she comes home permanently, or back to the US permanently. Um, it is this squirrel, and these are the ones that are available, but I only picked up the squirrel, whose name's Skip, because her nickname is Squirrel, so. I thought that was so cute, the little squirrel with the acorn. So yeah, I'm gonna put this upstairs and make her take it when she moves, comes back and moves into her own place. <laughs> I'm gonna force her to. So if you saw my last haul, you'll see that I found these, they call them cosmetic cases. I can't get it open with one hand. But there's a mirror inside. I don't wanna blind you with my lights. I got a few of those last time. This time I found the pencil boxes, which someone mentioned in the comments of that video. They only had blue. It's the same, but no mirror. So I think they're pretty cool. I actually think I like these better than the ones with the mirror. But yeah, I got two of these. I'm gonna have to move her stocking. Next up, I got a few things for Lucy the cat. She generally does not play. She doesn't. Her idea of playing, oh, a while back, a few hauls ago, I got the little um, cat toy. One was a taco and one was hot sauce. She has recently started kind of playing with those. Her idea of playing is to pick it up, meow really loudly, bring it near you, drop it so you'll throw it, and then later she'll go get it and bring it back, not just then. So anyway, she started really playing with those. I found this, which I think she'll like. She had a toy in this shape before, or similar, that she loved, but my daughter took it with her thinking that the animals would be over there already, and they're not. So hopefully she'll like that. Her favorite kind of toy, if I can get her to play, are these, what are they calling them? Cat teaser wands. So I got her this one, this one, This one. And this one. She has some that are nicer that I got from a pet store, but my daughter took those with her as well. We have a couple of these cheaper ones upstairs, but they don't always have them in Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and got, well, I didn't get one of each. There were a couple I didn't think she'd like. So I got one of each of the ones I thought she'd play with. Next up, I picked up a few Christmas things that I don't need. Well, these, these I can use. Um, I got this snowman plate. I think that's really cute, or platter. What are they calling it? A tray, a snowman tray. So we don't do Christmas dinner. I did Thanksgiving. Both of my boys were here, it was nice. 
but I, for Christmas and Easter, I do breakfast, you know, more like a brunch. So I got this for that day and we're gonna be using paper plates and these napkins on Christmas. I think I already have a pack of these, these napkins, I can't speak. There are only four of us, there are 14 plates and 20 napkins, so we're good. So we're gonna use those on Christmas morning, early afternoon really, because there aren't any children here, so nobody wakes up really early, except the dogs. I got a couple of cards. I got this piggy one that says Happy New Year. And it says Celebrate Pig Time. And then I got this one. I'll let you read it. It doesn't offend me in the slightest, but I don't know how fe people feel about different words. So I'm not going to say it. You say it. Or read it. And then it says, enjoy the wonder and mystery of the holiday season. So both of these are going to my daughter at different times, clearly. <laughs> and I'll make this one from the dog and cat, maybe. So I got two cards. I picked up this giant gift bag because it is animals in cars. And that is so cute. Look at that. Adorable. So I got that. It is... 36 inches by 44 inches. And then I found these ornaments and you know, I say I'm not putting up a tree, but I can hang these around the house on other things really. They were super cute. I found these gnome ornaments and they're also bells. They don't really ring, they kind of just make noise. They're so, so cute, I got them in gray. And they also had them in red. Adorable. Can go here <laughs> and then the last thing I picked up I actually got two of these little lunchbox tins they're just plain when you open them up plain silver but I thought they were so cute that I picked up two of them oops I didn't close that all the way I did take pictures of the other ones they had available and that's everything I picked up this time around at the Dollar Tree. Now I have some pictures, like I said, of items I saw but didn't need or want, but I thought you might like to see them. So check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.